Last time on Golden Sun. No, get back. What's the matter? I'm hoping your weakness is stairs and you won't come after us. Hey guys, right in here and welcome back to Golden Sun. So, uh, we're basically at the same place we were before, but I accidentally walked in the room. And this is the first thing that old man said. So he's like, excellent, Zeno. Uh, but a few things before we talk to this guy, which we already are. I guess we're just gonna stare at him kind of awkwardly until then. Back in the cave, that puzzle with the invisible walkway. Apparently you can fall off of that. I just somehow miraculously pathed my way through the floating invisible platform and got through it. Which was why I was so confused when I'm like, I just beat the whole thing? What was that about? <laughs> and it felt super easy, because it's not supposed to be. But, yeah, that explains that. Also, apparently this area we're in right now is a 100% entirely optional area that we didn't even need to go through. So, uh, glad I found it. But that also confuses me, because I still have no idea where we're going. I know we have to go to that other forest that just appeared somewhere. And that's our main goal, but for now, I guess we'll talk to Master Old Guy here. I'm glad to see you master the secrets of Fujin Temple. We monks call the power you have obtained- wait, call the power you have obtained key. You seem confused, Zeno. Yeah? This is called force by the western world, but it's really spiritual power. I will teach you, as I promised, use the power to go through the forest. What would happen if you let loose this energy in the forest? Haha, <laughs> you're curious, no? Not really. I can read mind, you know. You're curious, aren't you? <laughs> no. You don't have to try so hard. You're curious, are you not? No, not really. <laughs> he just won't give up. He's like, I have been waiting here all day to explain this to you. You are not getting out of this. <laughs> Fine. Monsters that wait in hiding would show themselves. You would then try to defeat them, would you not? No. Haha, <laughs> that is right. There is no good in wanton destruction. Monsters are cowardly. <laughs> They will run once they know you can see them. They are creatures of the woods, so they do not get lost there. Bye? Is that all we're gonna talk about, mister? Is that just the end of our conversation? I guess it is then. See you later. That was strange. <laughs> By the way, if you guys have said like a whole ton in the last comment section, Sorry I didn't get a chance to read it currently. Kinda under a tight schedule right now. Uh, normally I really love to read comments and I read every single one, but specifically that last video I didn't get a chance. I don't have internet right now, so I still can't. Whatever. Oh, the forest is right down here. It's in view of this. Huh. Uh, is that a battle toad? I guess I'm just supposed to ignore that then. Okie doke. So I'm just gonna give everyone like their assigned uh, Ginny here, like their assigned element. Because honestly, even though I like all the extra cool spells they have, it's so much simpler to just have them do this. <laughs> like they get access to exactly what they need and your party works as it should, so. Later on, maybe. I don't know, but as for right now, I really like just setting them up with their own elements. So, how am I supposed to use force here anyways? Is it just... It, it just says, strike a distant object, which doesn't really... Huh? Punch this tree? No. It's probably gonna be more evident than just one of the random tree sprites. Oh my goodness, is this the Lost Woods? That's right, get- Oh, I get the trick. You have to hit the tree and then he'll show you where to go. Cool. So if I didn't go through that entire area and do all that, then I would have just had to guess, I suppose? Alright, now where'd you go? 
And in the forest, we have more ghosts that look exactly like the other ghosts I was fighting outside. Mr. Frog, are you in here? No, he wasn't in there. Moles! It's mole people! One thing I've noticed is I look at my old videos and for some reason I say mole people a lot. I don't know why. I don't think I've ever seen any, like, media with mole people in them, but... It's just a funny concept to me, I suppose. <laughs> I am getting a bit tired of these log puzzles, I do have to say. Like... I feel like I've been doing them for a long time now. <laughs> Mine? Or not? I guess I am not strong enough. I can call down meteors from the sky. But... Oh, there we go. Okay, Mr. Frog, where to next? That way, huh? I am really not sure how I feel about the whole if an enemy dies thing, you don't hit it. I've seen a lot of people chalk that up to, like, oh, it's trying to... It's trying to make the game harder. It's trying to make you think a little more. Uh, but, like, honestly, it just feels like it's taking out a system that's existed for, like, 15 years prior to this game. And then being like, yep, that's some added challenge right there. We just took away something that's in every single RPG ever. <laughs> I don't know, it seems a little... silly. Well, shit, I have to go back and revive Garrett now, though. <laughs> Wait, I have a spell called Ragnarok? The hell? That sounds sick, I wanna try that. Even if Garrett's dying on the ground. I wanna try my cool spell. Ragnarok! That doesn't look like a single target spell. Holy shit, 100 damage. Sadly, though, I think these are the only four party members we're going to get, because, you know, like, all the art I've looked through for thumbnails and stuff, I only see those three. So, I can only assume that this is the maximum party we're going to get, so I can't replace Ivan with someone a bit more tanky. Uh, he must have jumped into one of these. Where to, Mr. Frog? If that's what you actually are. Oh, hey, treasure! That looks like a total trap. It's probably a mimic. Didn't work. Oh, no, it's actually a chest with an apple in it. It's not a mimic that wants to kill me. That's refreshing. Whoa, death head. Never mind, it's just, <laughs> it's just one of the skulls we saw earlier, but it's a different color palette. I was like, new enemy! Although I guess it's technically new. Can you guys name an RPG that has, uh, no change, uh, or like, no color palette swap enemies? Like, every single area you go to, the enemies are all brand new, and they never get reused. And I'm gonna, like, discount Persona 5 from that, because, like, that game was like a hyper budget talking about things that are probably a bit older. Well, I got that chest. Is that me in here now? No. Where did he go? Because I went this way. And this way leads to this chest, but otherwise, there's no one here. Strange. I guess I just have to take a guess? And I guess up. Is this a mistake? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this room's just looping. It is. Okay, then I choose down. Oh, cool, now we're in this area. Which is kind of a mystery at the moment. It's over here. Are you in here, Mr. Frog? No, you aren't. That would be too easy. Hey, a gin! Hey there, little guy. Uh, gotta figure out how to get over to you. Hmm, I wonder. So, if I can... Oh, probably from the other side, that would make sense. And if I punch the rock like this? That didn't... Do anything! Why are you facing that way? Don't do that. Punch! Okay, no, maybe I just need to use... Move? There we go. And now I can punch this frog. Wake up. Or not. I guess he's not in there. I keep doing that. I'm so used to, like... I'm so used to, like, games being immediately the, the attack button and then magic. And I keep going over to flee and then failing and then they hit me. So I'm trying to actually fight them. But I'm pushing all the wrong buttons. Oh shit, Garrett's dead now. I can't fight the Ginny while he's dead. Well, I could use the special super duper ultra... Revival item that I got from that guy uh, Sparingly water of life revives down characters use I'm not going back to the entrance. I'm too lazy for that Hey buddy Venus Ginny up here. Okay. Well, we're gonna use everything on you. Give everyone a barrier. Raise everyone's attack. Oh, I can raise everyone's agility. That's the best one there is. And as for you... I don't know, I just want you to do damage right now. Or actually heal me. Get all the buffs going. Prepare yourself, Ginny. Where we are using our best skills against you. Like Ragnarok. And Heat Wave. And for Ivan, nothing. Because he doesn't have, like, a super special skill or anything. Oh, what is this? Atalanta. Whoa, I've never seen this one before. Whoa! That feels like overkill. Whoa! I like that one. That's a cool summon. And it does extra damage, too. I think that was supposed to be wind, it looked like. So I think that means it's weak to wind damage. If that's the case... Well, first of all, I should probably try and heal Ivan, because he's dying on the floor. And then you... Can use Fever and put him under Delusion. And then you, since he seems to be weak to Storm or Wind or whatever, can do this. And you can restore HP yourself. Plasma! I could heal Ivan in time. She healed herself. Oh, I won. Cool. We're all leveling up. 
You're mine now. I own you, creature. Yay! The Venus Ginny Quartz joins Zeno. So now we have a third Earth Ginny. How does this interact with everyone? Okay, well, almost everyone has three Ginny now. Um, holy shit, this one can revive people. Oh my goodness, finally a way to do it. Thank you, Quartz. Quartz is always the best, but, um, I, I guess I'm more a fan of, uh, Lapis, I guess? I don't know. Oh, shit, I didn't see him go anywhere. I can only guess. Oh, wow, okay. I'm gonna guess you're in this one. No, you're in this one. I was right. You must be getting tired of me punching your house over and over again. I mean, I would. Um, okay. What's going on here? Another rock. And I can use the ability move. Twice to fix. And the rock has been moved. And now, I can punch this tree. Or not. What was the point of this again? If I can't punch the tree, then why did I move that? Questions. Unanswered questions. Okay, so I just move this one over here. This one down here. Then I can walk around here. And move this one to the right. And now I can punch this tree. Was it a lie or did I just miss? What? Why? Why'd it go that way? I'm not even facing that way. This doesn't look like a liar tree. I don't know why my character keeps facing the wrong way. No? Huh. This is strange. Normally the little guy just kind of leaps right out. I guess I'll go this way. And then this way. And then this place is totally looping, isn't it? Then I'll go down. Which does lead to somewhere else. Okay. Now, you are the destined... Hey, I didn't even punch you yet! Get back here! Oh no, it was running from something, wasn't it? It's not fair, I didn't save! Oh, shit. I'm actually kind of fearing here, because... Fearing? That's a new one. Um, uh, but... I don't know how I'm gonna do this! He's probably just going to murder us. But I'm just going to buff us so hard that he can. Hopefully. Boosts a singular ally's attack, but I just boosted everyone's. So I'm not going to do that. Agility. And for you... You can drop the enemy's attack. Perfect. I guess these things are supposed to be gorillas, not frogs. And it just shot something out of a very inappropriate place. I don't know why your war cry came out of your groin, but, um... Okay. Let's do this. Do that buff again. Attack with wind gusts. And... Restore your HP. Go! Ransack. No, Ivan! He didn't even have a chance! 
I can revive him though. I can revive him. Ivan, holy shit. Ivan, I'll save you. As for you, use fever. And for you, I want you to summon Nereed. What? How does it have no effect on Ivan? That's what it says it does. Did I hit the wrong button? No, I am absolutely sure that was Quartz. What, what was up with that? That was strange. Ooh! Since I have three, I can use Cybel, Great Mother of the Earth. Please, Cybel, come help us. I don't know who you are or what you are, just help. We need it really bad right now. Go, every single summon we have. Oh my god, what is that? It's Cybel, Slayer of Global Warming, 245 damage. Ha! Huh. Fire those arrows. The summons are so cool in this game, it's something I really love. And lastly, summon the... It looks like a Splatoon character riding a flaming horse, but okay. You can see clearly once again, did I do something to him earlier? <laughs> it's probably pretty bad if I, uh, like, blind someone and I don't even remember doing it. Okay. As for everyone else... Everyone's still on cooldown there. Uh, do we have anything else we can use that will... I have vials, which restore a shit ton of HP. Um, no, I should just have him attack. Heat wave! Restore. Okay, that removes status ailments, but that's not what we're doing right now. Oh no, he debuffed us. Oh, we got him. Mastered the Squire's Quake Sphere. Isn't this great, Ivan? We killed him. Why only me every single time? It's like, cuz Ivan, you refuse to wear armor for some unknown, ungodly reason. But on the bright side, that was it. We made it out of the forest unscathed. But Cito, I'm bleeding on the forest unscathed. Oh, hey, a village. Oh, must be related to the other one. Asian aesthetic. Just saying Asian, because I think this looks Chinese, Japanese, I can't tell. Um, is this the inn? I can't read the sign, is this the inn? Disasters from the sky. Many, many thieves. But, uh, but I do not worry. Xian has many kung fu masters. Master Fe is strong. I was asking if... Is this the inn? Oh, I need to go to the priest first. This is Xian. Travelers... Or Zane. I don't know how to actually say that. Travelers are welcome here. Relax. Stay long. Stay a while. You can see what he said. This is the Mulberry Orchid. Orchard. When the season comes, all Xian comes to harvest. Okay. Um, hey, there's a Ginny up there. Is this the inn? No. Um. That looks like an inn. Or, I guess, most of the priests live underground seems like, for some reason. Ah, oh, here it is. Ivan, is your whole life just suffering in mind reading? Okay then, let's start talking to people. After I save the game. Because who knows, at this rate, I am kind of concerned I'll walk up to a flower, and it'll start a boss battle. Martial arts are very popular in John. All warriors should learn martial arts. I actually agree with that. There, yeah, that is a very helpful thing to know. Hua, hacha. 
Holy shit! That was cool. <laughs> Mind read. Breaking trees with my hand hurts me very much. But it does not hurt Master Fe. He is a great master. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm saying Fe horribly wrong. Fe? My kung fu is strong. If you go to Master Fe's school... Yeah, that sounds better. I don't know why I thought it was Fe. Uh, Master Fe's school every day. Someday you will be strong too. Okay then. Bye. John is the village of Kinu. Kinu means silk. Silk makes the best cloth. I hope many people come to know the silk of Xion. Okay, Google told me it was Yen, so that's what we're going with. Do not speak to me. I might spill my water. Okay, jeez. You must carry water every day. I can't stand it. Silk Road ends in Tolby. It's a big t town. Silk Road ends in Tolby. It's a big, big town. Merchants say Tolby is very beautiful, very wonderful. Sin Silk is sent to Silk Road to Toby. Or sent on Silk Road to Toby. I'm sorry, my reading is horrendous. I don't know what's wrong with me. Tolby is a big town in the southwest. Silk Road is full of silk merchants. You know, I feel like maybe NPCs should have something above their head that says, like, Oh, you can mind read this one! Because, like, half the time they just say some things that they could easily say out loud. Like, half the time when I mind read people, I don't even feel like I learn secrets. Like, they'll be like, that barrel is full of swords. And then you walk up and mind read them, and they're like, Yep, those swords in that barrel are pretty good. <laughs> Follow Silk Road. When you see the mountain fort, go north. Then you will see... Alton. Alton has many men. All scary men, too. There is a mine in Alton. There is lots of steel and lots of gems. Mining is very hard work. It takes great strength. It is difficult for women. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about that one. Alright. You warriors should visit Master Fei's school. You will be surprised. Master Fei's school is training. It makes us very strong. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be, like, someone who doesn't know how to speak English very well, or if this is, like, horrific translation. <laughs> this is Master Fei's school. You came to watch? Yeah, sounds rad. Promise me you'll be quiet. Did you just hear everyone training? It's like, this is our hour of meditation. Please, everyone, be silent. And Ivan just walks up right behind him. He's like, mind read! <laughs> it's like, what was he thinking, Ivan? Ivan's like, he's telling me to go away. <laughs> just listening does not make one strong. I'll learn by watching. Master Faye's very busy. He is speaking with his daughter, Faye You cannot enter now. Master Faye is talking with Faye about something very important. Cannot start. That's what you just said out loud. <laughs> Flexibility and jumping are very important in Kung Fu. I move too quickly. You can't hit me with your weapon. Try it. Okay, see you later, Aikido Master. Practicing kicks hurts my feet very much, but I still try hard. Strong kicks are very important. Kick, kick, kick. That's how you do it. Is he saying kick out loud? I want to learn. So, so I train. Quick punches are very good. Master Fei is very good. That punch is, was good. You surprised me, warrior. I haven't done anything. Everyone in, in Xian can do martial arts. But the Fei school of martial arts is the most elite. Warriors came to learn Fe, the Fei school's Kung Fu. That is how famous it is. Master Fei is very busy. Do you still wish to see him? Yeah. Look there. You see that line? Stand there and use Chi. If that tree falls, I will take you to see Master Fei. Okay. I have the perfect technique to take it down, actually. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to open the menu, which is the same button as talking to you. 
Okay, um... Force! I have learned your ancient technique. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> the tree fell on its own. Warriors cannot use... Wait, this is different from Chi. Do not step over the line, warrior. Stand beyond the line, then try your Chi. Okay. What did you do, warrior? The warrior used Chi. He did it from the line and the tree fell. He knows Kung Fu. Do you know Kung Fu? Pff, of course I do. Your Chi must be strong if you can use it from afar. I must tell Master Fei. Okay. Yo, yeah, what happened? The door opened on its own. Fezzy, wait. Are you worried that Sue is late? He's only a little late in returning from the Llama Temple. <laughs> the Llama Temple, that sounds really peaceful. Do not worry. Something is wrong with Sue, I sense it. Oh, Fizzy, is, your, is it your power again? Ever since the gems fell from the sky and hit me, I have sensed bad things. You s and you say you sense evil ever since you received the power of prophecy. You have told me already. Do not believe it, Faisy. Your visions are just coincidences. My visions came true many times, no? I had a vision about Mogul Forest, and that came true. Yes, your predictions came true, Fezzy. It was very... Is that actually your name? Faisy? Faisy, I'm gonna go with that. It was very surprising. The Flood in Altin. Did I not predict that too? All Faisy's predictions come true. See, Father. I have heard this all. I was surprised too, but it was still coincidence. What? You still don't believe it. Sue so is late, so you do- wait, so you worry too much, but do not think bad thoughts. You sent people to find Sue, correct? Stubborn old man. What did you say? Fiz- Fizy? <laughs> You, sh you should not speak so to your elders. I will not ask anyone. I will go alone then. It is too dangerous. Too late. She's gone. Yeah, Master Fe Fezzi is gone. Fezzi was very angry. She was frightening. Sue is in danger. Fezzi is going to help. Fezzi knows Kung Fu. She will be alright. <laughs> Something about that line is ridiculous to me. It's just like, I know there are giant, like, angry gorillas and demons and talking trees and whatnot. But I taught her, like, the one-two combination. That's good enough. Fizzy is alone. She cannot go too far. She'll give up soon enough. Until then, let her be. Hi. Hi. A tree, it fell, what happened? The warrior did it, he used chi. Warrior, you can use chi? Yeah, I guess, we'll just go with that. Do it again, warrior, show me your chi. Okay. Watch it! What the... I'm trying, but you're in the way. I'm kind of confused. Why didn't it... Um, normally this works. Hold on. Uh... Huh. Yeah, hold on a second. Look, the tree fell. Master, did you see the warrior use chi? Master, what is the matter? He did not do it from the line, so I cannot be sure. 
Are you are you kidding me? That is not good, warrior. Do it right. Do it from the line. I'm trying to do it from the line, but he's in the way, and the same button to talk to him is the same button to use the chi unless I go in the menu and map the chi just so I can punch that thing down. Fine. What? W what's happening? There. There's your goddamn from the line. Yo, the tree fell! Master, did you see the warrior use chi? The warrior's chi is excellent. Are you surprised, Master? What's wrong, Master? Hmm, the warrior did make the tree fall. I'll, I grant you that. Is something wrong with the warrior's chi? What the warrior did, it is not chi. What? It is not chi? Hmm, it looks very similar, but it is not chi. Warrior, have you been to Fuchin Temple? Yes. I knew it. How are chi and Fuchin Temple related? I have learned my chi from Master Hama at the Lama of the Lama Temple. The Hama Lama Temple? <laughs> Then it is the same as Chi, is it not? Very similar, but still different. Chi concentrates the energy of the body into the hand, then releases it into a distant object. You, warrior, use energy focused from the mind, understand? Yeah, I think I get it. This warrior is very wise. <laughs> the power to will. Something to move requires much wisdom. Fuchin's Ki releases the mind energy like Chi releases the bodies. The body energy has limits, but mental energy has few limits. Train your Ki will grow very strong. Do your best, warrior. Practice, everyone. Chi has its limits, but anyone can use it. Practice, practice, until you learn the power of Chi. Uh, was there a point to that? Practice, everyone. Yeah, but I bet you don't know that if I get away from you and open my menu... Can such a young warrior really do it? It is hard to believe. Can I go in your office? Sick. Oh, there's nothing in here. What about these ancient scrolls? Nope. How come you have nothing in your office? Your office sucks. <laughs> Can't see a way up, though. Hi. Hey, what? What are you doing? You made me spill my water. Sorry, God. Hey, wait a minute. Perfect! <laughs> Hold on a second. And now... I see. So if I make her spill her water at the right time... Yeah, so I bet if I get her to spill it like right around here, I can get to the Ginny. This is such a mean puzzle. Sorry. So if now I freeze it. And... Now I go up here. Wow, the solution to that was mean. Hey, buddy. Miss Join Garrett. Cool. Can lull a foe into deep sleep. The mulberry harvest is over. Now there is much food for the caterpillars. The cocoon threads will become silk. Merchants will buy a lot when they come. Soon Master Hammett will come. He will buy much silk. 
Farm work is very hard. Warriors have no idea how hard it is. Farm work is hard on the shoulders. It's hard on the back, too. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is actually supposed to be, like, other dialect trying to English it up or whatever Golden Sun common language is. My clothes are not silk. Silk is very expensive. Only the wealthy wear it. Silk is shiny and smooth. It feels good on my skin. I'm obsessed with it. I will kill for silk. Silk will be mine. You young warriors look strong, but which is stronger? You or the kung fu taught at the Master Phase School? I don't know. Young warriors, very gallant. You come through Mogul Forest, yep. Incredible, I respect your deeds. Yeah, you guys kind of have like a giant gorilla frog problem. Talk to me, warrior, I have good armor. Thank you, guy who doesn't look like he belongs here at all. Ooh, I can buy a China dress. <laughs> I love how it's not even like... They're not, they're not even trying to keep up like the fake naming conventions. Like, nope, it's just a China dress. Drops the enemy's attack. I even wear the China dress. There you go, Mia. You have a China dress now. Need weapons, warrior. Check our stuff. I have artifacts, but just they're dumb staves like before. I saw the same weapons you've seen at the last villages. So that's kind of pointless. But I do need to buy some uh, healing items for everyone else. So they now sell silk robes, which are kind of expensive. And new shields, too. Wait, the silk robe's still better than the china dress I just bought. But whatever. Shield. Oh, yeah, these will bring up our defense a bunch. Oh, but Garrett and I are full on items. I don't think I can get rid of much of what I have, honestly. I know it says that our inventories are full, but I wouldn't want to get rid of anything in here. Well, I don't really use the sleep bombs ever. Fine, I'll sell those. Uh, I'll sell these oil drops, because I don't use these ever. So one for me. And one for Garrett. See, what else is there? There's bracelets, which will help quite a bit. I want to get Ivan every single little thing he can wear. Ivan, I must keep you from dying. Okay, well, aside from the fact that this place doesn't seem to have an inn... Oh, I guess this is it. Welcome to my inn. Yes, okay. Was it nice to rest? Come stay again. Maybe I will. Hey, you. You are the warriors from the school. Are you strong warriors? No, we suck. You are weak warriors. Very few warriors would call themselves weak. I am happy to see strong warriors. I hope you will go west. Okay. I guess we're going west then. The lady says she hopes we're going that way. We're going that way, I guess. There is nothing here. So I'm going west as she said, but a whole lot of nothing alpine crossing. Yuck, Silk Road! Why does everyone just yell, yeah, all the time? Silk Road, boulders block the road. It's you, purple lady. My vision, it came true. Sue, Sue. What? Are you okay? It is not good. I cannot hear Sue's voice. Hey, uh, I, can I help you? What do I do, warrior? Should I return to Xian? No. You're right, warrior. Of course not. I must find him. Sue's in danger. I can sense it. I must find him soon. Should I use synergy here and help you out? Um.
Going back is no option. I must find him. Okay, well... I'm trying to help you, but... I'm kind of lacking options here. I'm, I'm not even trying to talk to you right now, okay? Oh, that's right, Grove. I'm forgetting all this cool stuff I have. Except for the fact that I don't have it, because you can't have all the spells at once. So we'll grow this vine. And we'll unfreeze or refreeze this puddle. I guess it was never frozen in the first place, since this doesn't seem like the place where a puddle would freeze. Especially not like 80 feet high, but whatever. And we jump down here. And we jump across here. And we get a treasure chest with... Power bread. What? <laughs> Boost maximum HP. Hey, Ivan, how about you eat a piece of bread for once in your life? So you won't just fall over every time something sneezes on you. Uh, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm supposed to be using what synergy to help who and how- Whoa! I didn't mean to jump that. Well, I don't think there's much I can do here right now. So I guess we'll just head this way, wherever this way is. Another town? Is that what that is? Oh, wow. Is this your first time to Alton? You must look a lot like a coastal town, huh? How in the world do you look like a coastal town? You're in the middle of a bunch of mountains. No. The day the gyms fell from the sky, these water-spewing monsters appeared out of nowhere. Now the village is ruined because of them. I don't know why I gave you that voice, but... I just assume that you'd have it. Oh, goodness, yeah, this place is screwed. How horrible, my house is totally coated in monster spit. How can those creatures spit up so much water? It's almost like they're turning the air itself into water. Oh no, what will I do if I lose all my merchandise? If all my merchandise is soaked? I don't know, item selling lady, since you all look exactly the same. If my goods are wet, I'll have to dry them out before I can sell them. No comment on that sentence. Okay. Even the mine is submerged, no one can enter it. Another graveyard. If we could just destroy the monsters, all the water would drain away. The water beasts continue to flood us. Our entire village will be submerged. We can't drink the water. The monsters spew. It's disgusting. Would anyone ever slay those beasts? Looks kind of like a, uh, like a Zoro from the 2D Zelda games. Is that what they're called? Zoro? Something. The fish people. Will you move, old man? Alton always used to run short on water. Now we're all flooded in. Either way, we just have bad luck when it comes to water. Hey, you fish boy. Are you done? Hey. I'm not done with you. I'm going to kill you. I cannot end this without your death. Hey, I can do that too, loser. Go- They're in- are, Should I really be killing these things? They're smart enough to both freeze things to continue their path, and use man-made ladders to climb things. Are- Are you sure they're not human enough to the point where this is amoral? Why does it just, like, taunt me into following it? Oh no, it's gonna fill up with water. No, that is a no-no. Stop that right now. Oh my god, this thing is gigantic. 
I don't know how strong you are, so I'm just gonna go all out and assume that you're stronger than anything I've faced thus far. Uh, let's see. I want you to use granite. I want you to use... There we go. I don't know how strong you are, but... I'm kind of scared of you. Apparently not that strong. Quartz! Wait, no, I don't want to use quartz right now. <laughs> um... Breeze. Mad Blast. Plasma. Fizz. Oh, he really doesn't like fire, huh? Holy shit, the spell quicks fear. It hits about seven people. If I want it to. Let's try it just so I can see it. Kieran, let's go. Ramses. Nareed. Oh, I can skip the animation, which I didn't mean to because they're rad, but... Go, little Toho girl. So you don't got the frost jewel. Was that the only monster plaguing the town, or am I gonna have to genocide this? Bestows frost when equipped. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's nice, so you don't have to have it equipped all the time. Um, the one item I'd really appreciate, though, is something that gives us growth all the time. Because growth is the one thing that I have to keep re-equipping for. And that's kind of annoying. Frost. There we go. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to destroy your entire race to fix this singular village's problems. Oh no, it was only one out of many. I do have to destroy your entire race. I was wrong. Hey, a side crystal. At least the item shop is up and working again. But it seems like the whole problem isn't solved. If the monster that did this were here right now, I'd give him such a smack. I'm just kidding, I'm opposed to all this violence. One blow's not enough. Jab, jab, hook. Then comes the uppercuts. <laughs> Okay there, future boxer. Oh no, the whole house is soaked. It's going to take a lot of work to get this house back in shape. Welcome, we have just the gear you need. But apparently we don't have anything strong enough to slay those water monsters down there, so, uh... I guess we don't have everything you need. So I bet they went in this cave! There's nothing in here. It's like a long, long mine tunnel so far. This place has no music. Which is strange. This is like the most I've used my Switch for playing 
or the Switch controller from playing anything since I think Bayonetta 2 came out. Hey, there you are. I'm gonna get over there to you and you're gonna regret it. I didn't check where this minecart goes. Okay, so it looks like I just have to pull the lever and make sure it brings me the right way. It'll shoot me down to here. And apparently launch us across the railroad track. That's fine. No danger there, right, Leon? Yeah, none at all. Okay, let's go. Come on! Hey, buddy. I wonder. Oh, there we go. Clean! Do that. Do this. And do this. You thought you could kill Ivan in one hit, but not this time. Thanks to him wearing a bracelet. I don't really know how that works, but uh, it empowers him. I guess it makes him believe in himself. It's like, oh, Zeno bought me this cool thing. That must mean I'm really good at my job. So, so I have to do my best, right? So, uh, there's Gust, there's Fizz. Ragnarok! Love the look of that spell so much. Oh no, Ivan! I'm getting kind of low, buddy. Fever. Ivan, heal yourself. And use fly on me. Let's go, Kieran. That should be all we need, I think. There we go. Now we're all around level 14. At least those of us who haven't died a lot. Okay. Looks like I solved the mine problem. Kind of. So I bet with their problem solved, they can go back to normal mining, meaning they can clear the path for uh, Sue, as I just keep calling her since HSU sounds really weird. So I'm just gonna call her Sue. Um, aha! Uh -huh. You thought you could get past me, Boulder, but you can't! Because I have the power of... Force! Hindsight? That worked. In my future hindsight, that worked. That statement didn't make any sense. Okay. That obviously didn't work. So I will move you! That didn't work either. What else do we have? I can catch you. Nope. I can douse you. I actually haven't had to use this for anything. But I bet I could have used that on the fires earlier on. I can ply you? Nope. I can frost you. Well, I don't know how to get to this one, so, uh... That's fine. And with that, I think we can pretty much consider their village saved. Unless there's still, like, another third level of water. And I even didn't even die. I'm so proud of him. He's moving up in the world. At least until the next actual boss fight where he dies. It's about the now, not the later. And Ivan's doing good right now. And we're running away, because I'm filled with status ailments that I don't want to deal with. Okay. Alton is safe. Shit, there's a third level. Well, um, the armor shop's working. You're, you're back in stock with everything, right? 
No, you are. You don't have any artifacts or anything. But you do sell chainmail. Which is phenomenal. Holy crap. Sell that to me, boy. What do you mean I can't carry anymore? Oh, I'll deal with this later. Okay, well, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, had a lot of fun this episode. Very eventful. Um, I guess one thing I do like about this game is that everything... Not the one thing I do, but a lot of things I like about this game. One of the things I do um, is that I always feel like our characters are doing something. And that's important. I never feel like they're stalling around just doing nothing for no reason. And while I understand it's important for characters to have R&R &R at times... Uh, that's how I honestly felt with, like, I hate to, like, sandbag other LPs as I play this game. That's how I felt, like, about Zysteria, where I felt like our characters kept going off and doing a bunch of things that don't matter at all. Like, again and again and again and again. And here it feels like, although we have to do the standard, like, roundabout, save the guy so he can get to the town so he can do the thing so he can get the crystal so I can save the world, uh, kind of thing from old older SRPGs, SRPGs is a strategy game, uh, older JRPGs, uh, it's still a lot of fun. If you like the videos, please do a like, it helps out a lot, more than you know, a lot, really. <laughs> um, and if you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. Thank you, and see you on the next one. Thank you guys for all, uh, hanging out and watching the series, though. I do really appreciate it, and, uh, gotten some very positive comments on this one, so thanks. See you next time, right now.